Many people who have made the decision to lose weight are faced with a difficult decision, should they do cardio or lift weights? They're the two most popular workouts, but deciding which is a better use of your time can be difficult. So in this video, we are going to share all you need to know about cardio versus weight training for weight loss. Cardio burns more calories per session. Many scientists have looked into how many calories people burn when participating in various activities. Based on this research, you can estimate how many calories you'll burn during various sorts of exercise, such as cardio and weight training, by using your body weight. When it comes to most exercises, the more weight you have, the more calories you'll burn. If you weigh 160 pounds, 30 minutes of running at a moderate speed will burn roughly 250 calories. If you ran at a quicker pace of 6 miles per hour for 30 minutes, you would burn roughly 365 calories. Weight training for the same period of time, on the other hand, may only burn roughly 130 to 220 calories. Cardio will, on average, burn more calories each session than weight training for the same amount of effort. Weight training helps you burn more calories every day. Although a weight training routine might not burn as many calories as a cardio workout, it does have other significant advantages. Weight training, for example, is more successful at growing muscle than exercise, and muscle burns more calories at rest than other tissues, including fat. As a result, it's often assumed that gaining muscle is the key to raising your resting metabolism, or the number of calories you burn while at rest. During a 24-week weight training trial, individuals' resting metabolisms were monitored. Weight training resulted in a 9% increase in resting metabolism in men. Women's impacts were less pronounced, with a rise of about 4%. While this may sound appealing, it's crucial to consider the number of calories involved. Resting metabolism increased by roughly 140 calories per day for the men. It was just about 50 calories per day for women. As a result, weight training and gaining a tiny amount of muscle will not raise your metabolism dramatically, but it may increase it slightly. Weight training, on the other hand, provides many of the other calorie-burning advantages. In particular, studies have shown that you burn more calories in the hours after a weight training session than you do after a cardio workout. In fact, after weight training, resting metabolism has been observed to stay higher for up to 38 hours, although no such rise has been documented after cardio. This means that the calorie-burning advantages of weights aren't confined to when you're working out. After then, you may continue to burn calories for several hours or days. A more vigorous workout will burn more calories than a less intense one for most types of exercise. How much should you exercise per week? Overall, according to the American College of Sports Medicine, less than 150 minutes of moderate or intense physical activity per week, such as cardio, is unlikely to result in weight loss. It does, however, suggest that more than 150 minutes of this form of physical exercise per week is sufficient to help most people lose weight. Furthermore, research has shown that persons who engage in more physical exercise shed more body weight. Share on Pinterest. Which types of exercise should you do? Weight training is not very effective for weight loss, according to a review of the evidence by the American College of Sports Medicine. It's crucial to realize, too, that even if your weight stays the same, your body composition may improve. Weight exercise, for example, can result in a gain in muscle and a loss of fat. Even if you get healthy, the scale may stay the same if your muscle and fat alter by the same amount. A major research with 119 overweight or obese adults helps put exercise and weight loss into perspective. The participants were split into three groups, cardio, weights, and cardio plus weights. Those who practiced cardio and cardio plus weights dropped the greatest weight and fat after eight months. The weights and cardio plus weights groups, on the other hand, acquired the greatest muscle. Overall, the cardio plus weights group saw the most improvements in body composition. They gained muscle while losing weight and fat. This indicates that combining cardio and weights may be the most effective way to improve your body composition. The bottom line is, both cardio and weight training can help you get healthier and fitter. A cardio workout burns more calories than lifting weights. Weight training, on the other hand, 
may keep your metabolism high for longer than cardio, and weightlifting is excellent for muscle gain. Thus, the ideal exercise program for improving body composition and health includes cardio and weights. It is best to do both. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, hit the like button. Feel free to share your thoughts or questions in the comment section. And for more concise fat loss and fitness tips, subscribe to this YouTube channel.